Dude, are we freaking ready? Oh my god. Uh, this is the corner, the magic corner, where I will construct the most beautiful aquascape you've ever seen. Okay, that's bull. I could only dream of having an aquascape, like an eye as good as CJ's. I don't know if CJ, you're watching this? You got a good eye for this stuff. I don't know how you do it. I have way too much, way more Fiji rock than I'm gonna need for this, uh, but that's good because I intend to break a ton of it, chip it away, get close to like the perfect, perfect setting and the perfect, the perfect piece and just think, hey, just do one more chisel or one more drill hole to put in the acrylic tubing and I expect it to, to shatter. Although I do hear Fiji rock is probably a little bit better than most. All right, so we're off to the races. I just saved basically a big piece of cardboard, tried to cut it out for the corner. I live in a condo, so I don't have an option to do this outside, so I know I'm gonna make a mess. So I figured if I put it against the wall, at least it would be somewhat self-contained. It took me a lot longer than I thought of measuring and remeasuring because of just a bunch of dumb mistakes I was making. But in the end, I think I got the accurate measurements, the accurate size, so at least I can have a visual so that my rock work is set up exactly how I want it. Okay, so I bought the Fiji Rock BRS like in bulk because I knew I would ruin it, but you should just look at how much extra I bought, which is ridiculous. This is my space. You see this tiny little thing? And one of these pieces, check this out, would be like sufficient for the space. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using very, very little of this. And that's okay, because I'm gonna make mistakes. And not only that, uh, I think this will give me a lot of cool opportunities to vision something amazing. The temptation, I think, when I have this much rock is gonna be to try to fit as much of the rock in as I can, but I think that would be the completely wrong way to go about it. At the end of the day, I'm gonna go for the most beautiful aesthetic that I can, and we'll see how that turns out. So hang on, everybody. Let's get to work. All right, what do you think? This is my first iteration. Um, I cut out some of the bottom. I don't know if you can see here. To make a little, I know the sand's gonna fill that up a little bit, but I cut it out a little bit there to give it a little bit more dimensions. I don't think this rock on the right here, you see this one right there? I don't think that's the right rock for there because I want it to open up more. Um, but I do like this rock. I think this might be the centerpiece rock. There's some really good uh, caves in there, just natural caves. I also drilled a little cave right there all the way through a little tunnel for some smaller fish maybe. Um, it's not quite tall enough yet. I need to use a little bit more of the vertical space. I was thinking of I was thinking of over here putting like a little drop off like a little platform. Um, you know that would block out the light down here, but I don't think that's a huge deal. I'm debating whether or not to make it one central island like it currently is or over here to put a another smaller island. I kind of like a little smaller island there. Um, I'll probably end up doing that. Let's see what it looks like from this angle. I'm just worried that it's too much rock, you know, that I'm filling up my space too much. Um, and from this side, if you look at it, it just looks like a solid mass, you know? Um, which isn't super visually appealing. I mean, if you were to put something down here, I think that would help it look nice. I mean, from the front, you can see it's got way more nooks and crannies and crevices, but I've already drilled this and chipped away at it, and I'm worried if I do any more, I might ruin it. So we'll see what I come up with in the end. I just feel like that might be too big. I kind of wish, like, this mass over here, if you could, like, cut a line off right there, you know? to make it feel more like a like a mountain and not like a giant rock outcropping because if you worry, but I just worry if I play around with it then I'm just gonna ruin it. The brain needs a little bit of a break. So 
Luckily, I live, I live Mercer Island. I live right next to a supermarket, New Season. So I'm just gonna go out, let my brain think about the visual space of the tank a little bit. I'm gonna go down. I was thinking of making myself something like from home, but I was like, you know, I'm gonna treat myself. It's Sunday, I'm working hard. So I'm gonna go down. I need to pick up some plastic cups anyways because I don't have anything to mix um, all of my cement with. So I'm gonna go get some of those, maybe get some like wooden, some, some, something disposable that I can s stir it with because if I use anything of mine, obviously it's gonna get destroyed. <sighs> maybe get a little Coca-Cola Classic. You know, what else does your brain need? What I've been noticing about working with the Fiji Rock so far is that it's really easy to work with. It's drillable, you know, you can drill holes in it without it cracking apart. And then the rocks fit together. If, I mean, they're they're so porous that 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 when you put them on each other, they almost like stick in place. So I'm not too worried about about the cement holding. Um, and really, BRS sent me this one super beautiful um, piece of Fiji rock that I've just been working with really the whole time. And I think it's going to be the centerpiece. And what I'm thinking is, um, instead of having like two main setups, having like a central, just center left, you know, kind of like the center left third. Um, my big kind of tower, that's like the big piece that I'm hoping is going to come all the way up to the waterline. And then from there on the right hand side, something visually striking. Because right now it looks really cool looking at it from the front, but not so cool from the side. It looks more like a solid brick wall. So we'll see. We're getting into the people area now. And, uh, you know, this is one thing to like vlog when I was in Japan, um, which none of you saw because this is a reef station but it's on the Matthews Life Station, and so this is super awkward right now. I get some food, and yeah, enjoy a little bit of sun while I can. It's been an awful winter here in Seattle, and I mean, it's middle May, and then like, this is like a nice day, you know? So, whatever. All right, so let's find some cups. I don't know if you can tell, but this is like a super fancy place. It's like really expensive here, so we don't shop here. Coffee, bulk water, spices, teas. This is exciting. Don't you, isn't this what you always wanted to do when you're watching a YouTube video? All right, is that the cheapest one we got? Yeah, I think we need these. Something bigger, right? All right. I use the Aquaforest Stone Fix. Um, really easy to mix, small batches using the cup. Dried really quickly, actually, and pretty easy to work with. And I like the color of it when compared to the Fiji Rock. It's not super noticeable, but you can always put some rock fragments on top so you kind of hide it. Anyway, really quick process, quite simple to use.